Croiso friends, I'm Courtney and this is Opus Eleni, where I make medieval things and give them away. Okay, so that's not entirely true forever. It just happens to have been true for about the last six weeks or so. Today's video marks the last of the epic run of subscriber milestone giveaways. Like I mentioned in, um, honestly, I'm not sure which video I mentioned it in. I feel like I've been talking about giveaways for quite a long time. As I mentioned in some video, this project was always meant to be created for my 1000 subscriber giveaway, but when I was planning out my projects and videos, I scheduled this one for October based on my projections. Luckily, I was able to switch things around a bit in order to do it earlier instead. So grab your favorite cuppa. Today, my drink is just water because summer lasts approximately forever in Texas. And stick around until the end of the video for all of the rules and how to enter the giveaway. So today's project is another medieval accessory that makes for a very convenient experience at events or other venues where one might potentially not be able to have access to one's pockets. A pilgrim's bag. My dear friend Casey Birchfield recently made a video about how she makes a pilgrim script too, so make sure you check that out as well. I will put it in the cards and in the description below. Pilgrim's bags are usually depicted in manuscripts as natural or bleached linen bags worn crossbody by people on pilgrimage. That is, traveling to distant, religiously significant sites for various reasons. In the miniatures of the Cantigas de Santa Maria, several people are depicted as wearing bags that have been embroidered or otherwise decorated. This is actually not the first time I have made bags inspired by this manuscript. I made two back in 2015, which you can see in my blog posts, and I will link that in the description below. So join me, friends, as I hunt through the cabbage patch for a suitable piece of linen, brush off my much-neglected embroidery skills, and put together an embellished pilgrim's bag for one of you lucky folks. I've rummaged through the cabbage patch and found some leftover linen from past projects. This mustard yellow that is distressingly hard to film and color grade accurately. And the lining linen will be some leftover black from a tunic project that nobody on YouTube has seen. Yet. I'd like to say that I meticulously measured the proportions of the bags in the manuscript versus the size of the people wearing them and come up with a two-scale pattern, but I have a policy of not lying to my viewers. The truth is that I've made many a bag in my time and I just kind of eyeballed it. The finished measurements are 8 inches by 10 and a half inches, which is plenty big enough for the immediate necessities.
with a bag cut to size, I am marking off the seam allowances. I don't particularly want to embroider over them because I don't want the seams to get too bulky. Marking the allowances with a heat sensitive pen will allow me to know where the diagonal lines should begin and end. Next, I will mark out the guidelines for the embroidered diamonds. I know I want them to start at the corners, and my transparent quilting ruler helps me achieve nice 45 degree angles. It will be infinitely easier to embroider the fabric before assembling it into an actual bag, so I took a look through my stash and found this lovely silk thread from Eowyn de Weaver that's a delight to work with. I bought it at a big SCA event called Gulf War, but she also has an Etsy shop too, and I'll make sure to link that in the description. In order to make the boldest, most graphic embroidered line that I can in the most efficient way possible, I'm going to be using a chain stitch. It's not as quick as a stem or split stitch, but I get an embroidered line twice as wide as a single line of either of those. Chain stitch is a series of looped stitches held in place by the next stitch in the series, and it goes back to about 1100 BCE in China and came to Europe much later via Iran and the Silk Road. It's been a little while since I've done any chain stitch embroidery, so it's taking me just a bit to get back into the habit of it, but eventually I do. And then I just keep stitching. Forever.
Once the embroidery is all finished, it's time to make it into an actual bag. First, I'll iron both the outer embroidered fabric and black lining fabric to remove any remaining visible ink and creases. Next, I'll sew these two fabrics together along the shorter ends that will form the opening of the bag and iron those seams open. step is a bit tricky to explain. Basically, I will lay the bag out inside out with the seams between fashion and lining fabrics aligned so that the fashion fabric is folded in half on one side and the lining is folded in half on the other. Then I'll sew along each long side, leaving a short gap unsewn in the lining half of one seam. Once that is done, I can turn the bag right side out through that hole in the lining, which I will then proceed to sew shut with a ladder stitch. And after that, I will tuck the lining inside the bag and iron all the seams into their proper places. Now that the bag is all finished, it's time to make the strap. I cut this long piece out of the yellow linen and I'm stitching it in half lengthwise before turning it right side out and ironing it flat with the seam to the inside.
Finally, I will turn the raw edges of the strap ends inside and stitch them closed, and then whip stitch the strap ends to the bag at each side. Thank you once again, friends, for joining me today. I hope that this video inspires you to consider how fun accessories can be practical and beautiful additions to your kit. If you are interested in adding this particular fun accessory to your kit, you can enter to win this Pilgrim's bag by commenting Pilgrim below and telling me what your current favorite kit accessory is. Thank you all so much. I can't even convey how grateful I am to each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you're the kind of person who enjoys being told when new videos are uploaded, make sure to click the bell to turn notifications on. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I will put a link to those in the description below, as well as my coffee page if you would like to make a donation to the Alms Purse and help keep Opus LNI and materials and production assistant Bran in treats. As always, friends, be kind, do the work, continue supporting marginalized people, and keep creating. Well...